What's going on y'all? It's your main man, Mango Microphone, growing out the main. And today I'm gonna be doing some styles for y'all. Um, these are gonna be some styles that like, I guess you don't really see people do. Some are practical, I actually use them in my, in my everyday life just to actually like, for the reasons they're used for, but it's gonna look kind of weird. I have a full set of dreads, so if you have a high top set of dreads, I don't know how these styles are gonna work. You can try it out and see. I'm actually gonna do a video on where I try high stop, high stop, high top dreads on my dreadlocks where I pretty much just do the same high top hairstyle with just um, these dreads. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and just see how that looks because this pretty much would be like my high top. I think you just see how it looks with just these down or something or pulled back. And who knows, I could be even in your style. So I'll make that video probably after this one or something. I'll find a few people to look at. I got me some, a few hair bands back here, a spray bottle, and that's all you're going to need, some a spray bottle and some hair bands. So, I'm spray my hair. This is day 33 of quarantine or something like that. How's everybody else quarantine going? Mine's gone. Alright, I really need to get a camera, you guys. Oh, do you see the screen save going back there? Pretty cool. Alright, so this first style, I kind of already did it in one video, the JID hairstyle, but all it is is two like pigtails kind of to the side. What I like to do is with most of these styles, I just take like the front two dreads, or in my case, these dreads are combined. And I'll pull those out and then maybe even some like on the side or something. Just to give like a different type of mangled look, you know? Mangled look. Yeah. And they're also optional. You wear it for the headband. So yeah, something like that with the headband and without the headband. It's how kind of style looks. And I kind of like just wearing this style sometimes just to give myself a little character out. I worked to work one time and my boss was like, they got pigtails. I was like, yep. I think it's a good way to show some characters. kind of like big, you know. Alright, y'all. So, the next style. I do this when I don't want to put a lot of stress on my roots. It's kind of a goofy one. I pretty much just pull all the hair up on top of my head. And then I'll put a ribbon at the very, very top. And I try to get as many dreads as I can on the side, but I don't gotta get all of them, but just try to get as much on the top of my head, because this style is to keep the dreads out of my face and not put tension on the roots with the ponytail. I'll keep it pretty loose, I can adjust it. This is kind of a goofy one. Let's see if we get it all in frame here. So yeah, it's kind of like a little goofy style, but I mean, I, I do it to keep it like, you see it's like really loose, like you can see all the dreads moving in there. Getting like even, Take my fingers through. So it's a very loose style, as you see. It's my go-to usually, just while I'm walking around. It's not very beneficial if you're doing like a sport or anything, because it'll just tend to like fall out very easy. But if you're just like walking around, just living daily life, it's very easy to wear. So, so the next one I'm gonna do, the third one, is gonna be one I use when I'm flipping around to keep my dreads on top of my head and off the back of my neck. And I can't just do a ponytail because I can't get all my dreads in the ponytail. Uh, being too tight and then them slipping out, whatever. So what I do, I'll pretty much just take the first top half of my hair, put it into a ponytail, I'll double band that, and then I'll take the back half into like a little small bun. So it looks something like this, kinda. Like so, from the front, it looks like I have all my hair it's up on the top of my head. I could be like, you know, don't give away the illusion by turning too much. It's very angle sensitive, but take pictures. But then from the side, it's back on. But even then, my one friend said he likes the style. He said it looked actually look, it actually looked kind of cool. So I might just rock the style, just the back bun, top ponytail. And again, like I said, that style is just very, very practical when I do it when I'm flipping around, keep some of my hair up, and not in my face, hit my eyes and whatnot. So I might act like I'm out of breath. The next one I thought. What if I just tried to do pretty much a ponytail with just top and back of my head but not the sides? And you get this. I don't know, I haven't really looked at it all the way. Maybe when I'm editing this, I'd be like, damn, that style hits, but I don't know. It does the same thing as the other style. It keeps it off your forehead and the back of your neck. But again, I don't really know how it looks. Again, these are different styles. They're not supposed to look good. I mean, if they look good, go try them out. But I don't think they're supposed to look good. Don't matter. But yeah, not that style, I don't got a name for it. Fourth one, I think, I think it's number four. It's the inverse of that. You're gonna grab the side of your hair, 
Put those in two ponytails and let the rest just hang down. There we go. Yep, so something like that. Again, it's kind of like the first one. Actually, take this one out. You just want just the sides. Acting like it's real style. <laughs> oh, Jesus. How's y'all's quarantine going? But, you know, I, I kind of, I don't know. What y'all think? Um, let me know down in the comments. I mean, this really, the style really has no purpose just looking like this. And this last one, I used to two little hairbands again. I don't really think it's like anything innovative or new, but again, these styles just look different. So I'm gonna try to make the style like look different. All it is is two pigtails, the top one and the back one, but they're gonna be at like an angle. So instead of being like this, so instead of being straight on, it's gonna kind of be like an angle tilted and shifted. And you know, get it how you want it, get it how you want it. You know, I might even like pull one out. That's what I like doing it, make it a little mangled. So I'm gonna call it when I do that. I'm gonna pull something out, it's mangled a little bit, to make it mangled a little bit. Here we go. Kind of got like a coolio vibe to it, I guess. I like this angle. I can see it in the picture, but I really like this angle. I don't know how it looks. So yeah, that's like five goofy styles. I don't know. I mean, you can try them out. I mean, if you got a high top of dreads, maybe try them on that. It might look different. I don't know. I like them. I think this is a cool style. I just kind of made this last one up. I didn't mean to do this little pigtail thing. It was just going to be the side ponytail. I added this part in. I actually like the way this looks. So, mess around with the hair, you guys. When your dress get longer, just start messing around with it. Because um, you don't know. You could create something that you really like or accidentally other people like. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, you guys. Comment down below what your favorite style was. Stay mangled. Stay locked. Stay home. Take it easy, y'all. Thumbnail maybe?